Hey guys, Brian Regal here for Outside, and today we're going to talk about the things you need to get into backpacking. So I have a column on this, which you can find on outsideonline.com, about the seven essentials I always take with me when I go backpacking. I've got those here today, along with some other things I'm going to sort of walk you through, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to pack your backpack for a weekend backpacking trip. So let's get started here. The first thing you need if you're going to get into backpacking is obviously a backpack. So for anybody just starting out, I recommend a 60 liter pack. When you first get started backpacking, you want to really think about what you're bringing with you and really try to limit it. So if something doesn't have a specific purpose, don't bring it with you. Uh, and that's what my column and this whole thing is all about. It's really thinking about what you need uh, and leaving everything else behind. Okay, so you get your 60 liter pack. Uh, the next thing you're gonna want is a sleeping bag. So I think a 20 degree sleeping bag is pretty much perfect if you're only gonna have one sleeping bag. That's what I would get. The next thing I recommend people just getting in is buy a two person tent. A two person tent gives you some versatility. So you can obviously have two people, a couple people and a dog, whatever, or you can take it solo and it's not gonna like just totally bog you down. Something like REI's Half Dome 2 is kind of a great beginner all-purpose tent. People have been using it for years and absolutely love it. It's my go-to. If you want to spend a little bit more money, you could do something like the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2. Now this is like a true ultralight tent. It's a lot smaller than this, so it's definitely not as roomy, but you can see a little bit different in the size here. So again, this is gonna pack down a lot easier. It's a lot lighter weight. I can't remember the weight off the top of my head, but that's what you get when you step up in price. The next thing I always, always have with me is a map. This is an older map of mine, but it's a Nat Geo Trails Illustrated map. These days I usually just print out maps. We've written about it a lot on outside how to get a high quality topographic map, but I do think that the Nat Geo Trails Illustrated maps are pretty great. The next essential is a sleeping pad. So, <clears throat> again, here's another classic pad. This is the one I recommend in the column. This is the Thermarest Z-Lite. This thing has been around for a long time. It is uh, proven. Most folks who are just getting into backpacking, this is exactly what you need. So the next thing, a stove, backpacking stove. Again, lots of options here. This is an old MSR Win Pro that I use. I've had for a long time. It's kind of whatever you want to do, however light you want to go. The next essential that I always, always, always bring with me, moleskin. You put it on a blister or a hot spot when it's starting. This stuff has saved me a billion times. I never go on a backpacking trip without it. And then, you know, my last essential that I always bring with me, and this isn't full right now, but whiskey. You don't want to lug a bunch of beer or wine with you. That's heavy. You don't need the bottles and cans, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and these Nalgene flasks I've used for a long time, I think they're great. It's kind of self-explanatory. Okay, so now that we've gone through my essentials, I'm going to show you how to pack your backpack. This is super important because the way that you pack it totally affects the way it's gonna carry and feel while you're on the trail. First thing I do when it comes to packing the pack is load in my hydration bladder. This is a lot easier to do first uh, than trying to stuff all of that in there once you've got the rest of the backpack packed. Next is the sleeping bag. Now the sleeping bag is what you always want in the bottom of your pack. The next thing that I usually do <clears throat> is the tent. Whoever my hiking partner is, typically gets part of the tent. So what I'll do is take this and I will put it right on top of my bag, right down there at the bottom. Sometimes I'll even uh, sort of lay it over it. I don't really worry about keeping it rolled up or folded in there. I'll lay the whole thing over the bag and sort of fill the nooks and crannies. The key here is you want most of the weight on in sort of the middle portion of the pack and as close to your back as possible. So you don't want weight pulling you back you don't want it really up high because that's gonna just sort of throw off your balance. So, heavier things like a stove, for instance, or <clears throat> food will go sort of next, that's right above my tent, sort of right next to my back, that's where I try to keep it. Things like a water filter, same deal, that's kind of heavy. I'll sort of put that there. Cookware, same thing. This is also all stuff that I'm not gonna need to get to until I show up at camp at night uh, and need to get all of my stuff out and together. I will put the tent poles here on the outside of the pack. I usually put them right in a pocket like this. Oftentimes I will put my clothes 
if I have some extra layers for a weekend trip, I'll put them on top of the pack in case I need to get to them. Uh, little items, moleskin, very important. Compass, uh, let's take a spork, my map, Leatherman, our knife. All that stuff is gonna go right here in the lid of the pack. Basically, anything I need to get to quickly or have readily available goes in the lid. Now, another thing I'll do, instead of buying stuff sacks from REI or another place, I'll just use Ziploc bags, and I do that for a couple reasons. First of all, you know, they're pretty much waterproof, so you don't have to worry about your gear getting wet. Second, they're cheap. Third, uh, they make great trash bags for stuff, so you can pack all your stuff out. Then, once you've got everything packed up, you wanna just cinch down all of the different straps here that kind of keep the load uh, as close to your back and, and, and compressed as possible. So then once I've got that all ready to go, I'll show you how I put my sleeping pad on. When I'm taking my closed cell foam pad, the Z-Lite here, all you do is just strap it to the bottom of the pack. Most packs have these straps specifically for this. So yeah, it's a little wonky, but you don't notice it when you're carrying it. And the nice thing is it also helps your pack stand up if you need to take your pack off during the day, take a little rest, something like that. That's pretty much it. Just remember to keep the weight low and as close to your back as possible. Start with your sleeping bag on the bottom, then your tent, uh, then your heavy stuff like your stove, your cookware, your food, water, and then work up from there. And just don't worry about it too much. Ultimately, you'll, you'll figure it out as you go. Start out with this, tweak it, do what works for you, and have a good time out there because that's what it's all about.